Hi, everyone. I'm Rebecca Wolfkeel, I'm NASH's Executive Director, and I'm so pleased that you're joining us today to learn more about the benefits that membership offers you. Today, we're going to go through an orientation of some of our membership benefits. Um, many of you have been members for years and are familiar with um, some of the benefits that you receive um, as part of your NASHA membership, but we do have some exciting new opportunities that we want to um, ensure that you are able to um, take advantage of. So today we're going to go through um, some of those new opportunities. We're going to bounce back and forth between uh, live presentation and some videos, and um, hopefully after learning with us today, um, you'll be able to engage even more with uh, the NASHA community. Our NASHA membership runs on a calendar year, January through December, so you'll typically be hearing from us at the end of the calendar year to make sure that you're renewing uh, for the, the upcoming year. Um, the, there are, as I mentioned, many benefits to access, and so today we'll go through our new member portal and many of the opportunities that you'll view um, through the new portal. One of the great things that people like most about their NASHA membership is that you become connected to a network of experts and national resources. We put out publications, we create our own publications, and we work with partners to develop resources um, to make sure that our members understand all of the resources that are available to them. Um, we have a website and um, regular newsletters that go out to our members that um, provide funding opportunities and other benefits that only our members receive access to. We also provide a robust um, offering of professional development opportunities. We have a, a free webinar series that uh, typically hosts about 12 webinars a year. They offer continuing education credits for a number of um, different professions. And uh, we also uh, work with partners to host additional professional development opportunities on topics that are specific to um, communities that may be most impacted by brain injury or promising areas of practice. We have our annual State of the State and Head Injury Conference each year that many of you are familiar with. And of course, membership um, enables folks a discount on conference registration. We also provide collective representation in Washington, D.C. We do um, have an advocacy day every March where we connect our members with elected officials in Washington, D.C. and allow for um, education and opportunities to promote additional resources from the federal level that support individuals with brain injury. We also work in coalitions in Washington to ensure that the voice of states and individuals with brain injury is represented in the discussions. We provide access to leadership opportunities for our member. Um, our, our committees are a great way for our members to become involved and gain leadership skills. Um, we have a wonderful, very active board of directors who are elected um, and um, that we have other, other avenues for um, leadership development and individual personal growth that we offer throughout the year as well as part of our professional development offerings. And we, of course, try to ensure that we are that central hub for networking and resources for the TBI community. So with that in mind, over the last year, we've spent a lot of time assessing our membership benefits and trying to make them even more holistic um, for, for the community. One of the things that um, you started to see last year around our conference was the creation of our new website, which included a membership portal. On the portal, we have a membership onboarding toolkit, which this video will be a part of, but also we'll have an onboarding guide and other resources that make it really easy for new members to 
click one link and become oriented and really understand what opportunities um, they'll be able to receive as part of their new NASHA membership. We're going to take a quick second and show you how you can log into the new member portal. This is how to log into NASHA's member only portal. From any page on our NASHA.org website, go to the top right corner and click Member Login. And you will scroll down to where you can enter an email address. Enter the email address that's associated with your NASHA membership and request a password by going to need a password. A password will be emailed to you and that password can be changed at any time by logging in and going to manage account at the bottom right of the screen. Once you log in with the password given to you, you sign in and then you'll have access to all of the member only benefits. So you'll see once you're into the portal, which is very easy, you will uh, become um, presented with a number of new benefits that uh, we're offering now to our members. So one of the you know, things that we know is most important is for states and their partners to be able to connect with one another. We hear so often from folks in the field that are looking for contacts in a specific state or contacts that are working on specific issues so that they can learn from one another. Now our members, once they are inside the portal, portal can connect directly um, with any of our other members. And so um, you'll be able to see how to do that and how to search for specific people um, nationally or within your state. This is how to use the member directory. You'll go to our membership page or member login. You'll need to scroll until you get to member directory. Here you'll see a tile for every member in our member database. Again, this is only open to members who have logged into our member portal. You can search for a member by location. You can also search by category. Here we'll search for staff. And we'll see a tile for every staff member in our national directory. You can also search by keyword. Once we've pulled up a member, we click on that member and the member profile appears. So it's really important that when you enter into the membership directory that you update your profile. You saw that the NASHA staff has pictures and um, some information about NASHA in our profile. The more that you add to your profile, um, you'll notice in the search terms, that, you know, the easier that you'll be able to become identified and, um, and identify um, one, you know, one another inside the portal. This is how to customize your profile on the NASHA membership directory and manage your NASHA membership account. Once you've logged in, scroll to the bottom of any page and go to Manage Account. Once there, you'll see information associated with your NASHA membership. This is also where you can update your password if you'd like. You can renew, upgrade, or update your billing associated with your NASHA membership account. Here you can add a website for your program. You can add a business card and you can update a logo and edit a tagline. You can add images in the profile gallery. You can also add a description of your program and include highlights of your program in the showcase section. Finally, we have an area where you can add social media links. All of this will appear in the profile in the member directory. So another new feature um, that members now have an opportunity to take advantage of is a member only community forum. So in addition to reaching out to members and being able to chat with them offline, we also are now creating a venue for collaboration online. 
we have set up some um, different categories, um, topic areas that um, members can contribute to. And um, as members, you're able to create new forums and new topics that if you have a question or you're looking for information about a specific topic, you can create a forum and send it out. And um, hopefully you'll receive some answers to the, to the forum topic as well. This is how to access and use the NASHA member-only community forum. Log in to the member portal using the login feature at the top right of our page. Once you log in, scroll until you see member forum. The member forum is organized by tiles. There's a category in each of the tiles. You can use the search bar at the top to search within the topics. You can add a new topic above, add a title, add content to your post. You can even use the formatting at the top and then choose what category is best for your post. You can preview your post. You can add files or images. You can also add a poll if you wish. begin to participate in the forums, you will receive emails when someone uh, responds to a topic that you have created or that you have added content to as well. If you're part of our Leading Practices Academy or some of our other specialized programs, you're already familiar with the forum. We do incorporate those into some of our other projects as well. We also have created a member showcase of resources. Um, the last couple of years during our conference, we found that states really were eager to share some of their new exciting resources with one another. Um, during our last State of the States and Head Injury Conference, we provided a virtual state showcase in partnership with ACL. And this is sort of taking that to the next level. Um, You'll now be able to view resources that states have determined that they'd like to highlight um, for others to see, um, and we can rotate those um, on an annual basis as well so that the content is new and um, up to date that represents your state. This is how to use NASHA's Member Showcase. Log into the member portal in the top right of the screen. Scroll until you see Member Showcase. The showcase is divided by state or territory. You can scroll or use the map on the right. Here you'll see the resources that Oregon has submitted to the Member Showcase. If you would like to submit resources or change the resources that are located for your program, please submit them to hcushen at nasha.org and we will get your resources updated. In that out. So if you saw that your state was blank, please do go ahead and, and send them our way and we'll make sure to get your state updated there as well. Another new benefit that we think um, states will really enjoy is the opportunity to promote your um, state or regional events with NASHA's national network. So as you know, we have a calendar on our website that promotes NASHA's events and um, oftentimes we promote, promote um, partners events as well. But um, through this new member only calendar, you will now be able to highlight your events on this calendar. So non-members and members, anyone who visits the NASHA website will now be able to view events that you're hosting. This is how to use the NASHA calendar of events. You can go to our calendar events by going to the events section of our website scroll to full events calendar here you can be able to lo load older events search by category 
or even subscribe to our calendar. That way you're not missing anything that's posted on our events calendar. The events that are posted below are member and non-member events. Click on an event and you'll see more details and oftentimes a registration link for that event. Now log into our member portal to see member only events and also add your own events to our calendar. You can also go back to the calendar events once you've logged in at the bottom right of our screen. And now we see once we've logged in a new tab that shows add new event. You can add events about your program or any upcoming trainings that you would like other members and non-members to see. Add a title, a time and date, a location, add an image, and then details and description of your event, and save and continue. A NASHA website administrator will approve the event, and then your event will now become part of the ca NASHA calendar of events and is open to members and non-members. that we do approve all events that are um, submitted into that portal and so it will not be automatic you might need to wait a few hours for staff to you know make sure that um, it's you know an event that our you know our members submitted and that we're good to go with and so um, we will approve them as quickly as we can so I uh, just wanted to take the final few minutes to remind you about some of the additional ways that NASHA can support you. Um, we are growing and be, you know, our abilities to provide technical assistance and consultation has continued to grow. And so it's always a really good, I think, reminder for everyone um, to go through some of the different ways that we can support your efforts. Um, our team provides specialized consultation and technical assistance to state governments and their partners to really help grow and expand the services that their brain injury programs are able to provide. We do a lot to help connect state brain injury programs with other state programs within the states and really bridge silos that are often created by state governments. We also work you know, very closely with states to help them update their state plans or create state plans, ensure that advisory councils have all of the up-to-date and necessary tools and resources that help them be so effective in the state and of course help with training um, both for the brain injury community and brain injury service providers but also for mental health behavioral health vocational rehabilitation any other um, uh, agency or program that's also um, supporting individuals with brain injuries We have partnered um, with um, some leading experts to create some tools um, that help states build out their professional development curriculums as well. One of those is the REAP protocol, which is a concussion management protocol. Um, many states have already adopted the REAP, um, and what it is is a very state-specific concussion management protocol that um, educates family members, physicians, the school and education community, and the athletics community about how to help manage um, when a concussion occurs within the student population. We've also worked with Dr. John Corrigan at The Ohio State University to uh, update the What If There's a TBI training. Um, and that training is a really good module for sort of introductory, um, what is a brain injury and what is that co-occurrence look like between the behavioral health community. We found a lot of states have enjoyed using it as an educational resource for their behavioral health partners. We're always happy to create new tools and new publications based on what your state needs. So as you um, find that you're you know, working and could use some additional expertise or just a little bit um, extra hands on deck, we are here to help you and would love to hear from you um, to help you help support your programs in your states. 
So with that, um, thank you so much again for joining us today. We really believe now is an exciting time to be a NASHA member. As you can see, we keep building the benefits and trying to make uh, it you know, more and more valuable. Any questions, please reach out to myself or any other members of our team. Thanks so much.